and this is a kalpana here in this video we are going to evaluate this integral so let's get started solution we have integral 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x into dx now we'll rationalize the denominator so this is equals to 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x into now multiply and divide with 1 minus cos x since we are rationalizing the denominator of the integrand here in the denominator you are having plus sign so we use minus okay we we'll multiply and divide with 1 minus cos x right so this is equal to integral 1 minus cos x into 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x into 1 minus cos x into dx. This is equals to integral 1 minus cos x into 1 minus cos x is 1 minus cos x whole square by a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square, right? So, you could write this as 1 square minus cos square x into dx. Okay. Since a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab, this becomes a minus b whole square. You are having a minus b whole square equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So, you would write this as 1 square is 1 plus cos x whole square is cos square x minus 2 into 1 into cos x by 1 square is 1 minus cos square x into dx, okay? Since we know that sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. If you take cos square x to RHS, you'll get sine square x equals to 1 minus cos square x. Now we can replace the denominator by sine square x. This becomes integral. 1 plus cos square x minus 2 cos x by now replace 1 minus cos square x by sine square x into dx. Since you are having one, one term in the denominator and three terms in the numerator, so you can split the total fraction into three fractions. So you could write this as 1 by sine square x plus cos square x by sine square x minus 2 cos x by sine square x into dx is equals to integral Since we know that reciprocal of sine theta is cosecant theta, if you square on both sides, you'll get 1 by sine square theta equals to cosecant square theta, right? So you can replace 1 by sine square x by cosecant square x. And also we know that Cos theta by sine theta equals to cot theta. Then, if you square on both sides, you'll get cos square theta by sine square theta equals to cot square theta. Right? So, you can replace the second term by cot square theta. Okay? And... 
that's it so now replace 1 by sin square x by cosecant square x plus cos square x by sin square x is cot square x minus you could write this as 2 into cos x by sin x into 1 by sin x into dx okay again here you are having cos x by sin x you can replace it by cot x since cot x, cos x by sin x is cot x and 1 by sin x you can replace 1 by sin x by cosecant x okay let's replace in the next step so this equals to integral of cosecant square x first two terms are as it is we'll write the first two terms as it is minus 2 into cos x by sin x is cot x into 1 by sin x is cosecant x into dx okay minus 2 cot x into cosecant x into dx Since we know that 1 plus cot square theta equals to cosecant square theta, then cot square theta equals to cosecant square theta minus 1. Okay, now you can replace cot square x by cosecant square x minus 1. So this becomes integral cosecant square x plus now replace cot x by cosecant square x minus 1 minus 2 cot x into cosecant x into d This equals to integral cosecant square x plus cosecant square x minus 1 minus 2 cot x into cosecant x into dx. You are having 2 cosecant square x, right? So you could write this as cosecant square x plus cosecant square x is 2 cosecant square x minus 1 minus 2 cot x into cosecant x into dx okay this equals to integral 2 cosecant square x dx minus integral 1 dx minus integral 2 cot x into cosecant x into dx, right? Now write the constants outside the integral. You'll get 2 integral cosecant square x into dx. Here you're having 2 constant, right? In 2 integrals. So take it outside the integral minus 1 into dx, simply dx, integral dx, minus, take 2 outside the integral, you'll get minus 2 integral cot x into cosecant x into dx, okay? Since we know that integral cosecant square x dx equals to minus cot x plus c, And integral 
1 into dx equals to integral dx equals to x plus integral constant c and integral cot x into cosecant x into dx equals to minus cosecant x plus integral constant c. Okay. Now we are going to apply these formulas here. So this becomes 2 into integral cosecant square x dx is minus cot x minus integral dx is x minus 2 into integral cot x into cosecant x is minus cosecant x plus integral constant c. Okay. Only one constant for all the three integrals. Fine. So this equals to minus 2 cot x minus x minus into minus plus 2 cosecant x plus c. Right. So from these two terms you can take two common. Right. So if you take two common you will get 2 into cosecant x minus cot x minus x plus integral constant c. Therefore, integral 1 minus cos x by 1 plus cos x into dx equals to 2 into cosecant x minus cot x minus x plus integral constant c. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from integrations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Bye bye.